piece I'm making for Elstonwick Park is a, a rotunda basically. It's a meeting space that's going to sit up on top of the hill in the southeast corner of the park. It's a tall circular pavilion made up of reeds joined together up at the top, arching it in a sort of a gothic shape. Originally I was inspired by the reeds that are in those wetlands. It's also designed to frame some of the aspects of the view from the hill. So the city skyline will be caught in certain aspects of the piece. So it's a space for contemplation as well. My inspiration comes partly through my practice in itself, working with metal and using traditional blacksmith skills. A lot of my designs are based around what I can produce with the material, how I can take it in different directions. A lot of my aesthetic inspiration comes from the natural world, from nature in itself. And I suppose my philosophical work comes through the idea of genius loci, which is the spirit of place. So I'm interested in exploring what makes a place and how those spaces are defined by their community and the natural world. I don't use any CAD design or modern design techniques. When I'm starting a piece, I basically work with pencil and paper. I then create a little model or a marquette, which I then work from for dimensions to create the larger piece. The reeds were rolled in a, at a roller and then brought into the workshop and joined together and modified to create the shapes and the form that I wanted. All the leaves are traditionally hand forged, so that means they're put through a fire, hammered over the anvil, there's no laser cutting. Then the weaving is all done by hand as well, so each piece has to be individually cut and shaped and curved and then brought together through heat and fire to bring it into the shape I want it to be. It's a hand intensive process, but that's the way I like to work and that's the way I make my pieces. I hope it really does sort of spark imagination for kids. I had my young nephew in here the other day and he was sort of imagining being a little animal living in the, in the reeds. That was really a nice thing to see. I hope it does sort of create a sense of contemplation and also celebration. It's one of the only sort of remnant wetlands of, of the Elster Creek that runs through the northern part of the park. So I want people to sort of acknowledge the space as it's called spirit of place. I want people to have a think about the purpose of public space and how they sort of enrich our lives and how they define our communities really.